HQP Live, the initial setup instructions. Welcome to HQP Live video's tutorial. In this episode, we will be talking about the feature of HQP Live software. The upper left corner of the HQP Live window is the preview area, the area where you can preview the selected video source before you finally send it as the output. Next to the preview area, we have the broadcast area. Here you will know which video source is on air. Next, we have the transition effect toolbar and the license activation area. When this shows on with two hyphens, it means that the current software we use is under perpetual license. Next, we move to the special control area. In this area, you will find some useful toolbars you can add into your broadcast screen, like timer and scoreboards, prize draw, as well as crawl text toolbars. We also have HQP Live Environment Settings toolbar here, and some other toolbars right here, such as time, date, and logo. Click the question mark button to get the HQP Live online help. Down in the view area, you will find these three checkboxes. Tick or untick the box whenever you want to display or hide some windows, like the video playlist area, the CG window, or the audio mixer from the HQP Live main window. In the video sources window, you can add up to six live input videos, depending on the HQP Live model you use. But in this version, we only use channels 1 to 4 as the live video input source. To receive video from external sources, right-click on your mouse, then this menu will pop up. Our HQP Live will read the video capture card that is connected with the computer and you have to choose one video card as the input source for the selected channel. You can select none if you want to leave the current channel blank. The current channel being played on the broadcast screen is indicated by the red frame box. Out of channels 1 to 4, you can set the rest of the channels with the special effect functions. First, right-click on the channel number 5, select PIP, choose the source, and click OK. The selected source will appear as the small thumbnail. To change its size and position, click this ED Edit button. When it's clicked, the window will display the backdrop of your currently selected PIP's source. Click the sub-picture frame and drag anywhere inside the window to adjust its position. Drag the bottom right of the sub-picture frame to adjust its size. There are four different sizes which can be selected as shown right now. Back to the source of the small thumbnail, which is sourced from channel number 4, you will see a green border. Do the same, click and drag the bottom right corner of the frame to adjust its size. Click the green frame and drag anywhere inside the window to adjust its position. Now, let's move to the split screen settings. First, set the split screen channel sources, select the source of the picture, to put it in the left and the right frames, and then click OK. Now you can split the screen to view two different channels simultaneously. Click on the ED Edit button to adjust the width proportion of the picture. When it's clicked, the green border will appear. Drag the green border to change the width of the picture, and when finished, click the ED button. Next is the still image settings. Right click on the channel number 7, 
choose Set Image Mode and select the desired image file from your directory. Move to the Screen Capture function. When you choose Set Screen Capture, there will be a semi-transparent window floating on the top of the screen. Any screen behind this capture frame will be captured. You can click, hold, and drag the left mouse button on the capture frame to adjust its position. If you right-click the capture frame, this menu will appear to allow you to change the size and proportion of the capture frame. Next is the chroma key feature. First, select the chroma key source channel, let's say channel number 2. Click on the ED Edit button to adjust the size and position of the selected channel. It's the same like PIP. Here, you can also select four different sizes. For details, please follow our next video tutorials about chroma key function. Next, we have the audio mixer function. HQP Live provides audio mixer interface to help you tune the volume of the audio easily. There are two modes. One for the following mode means the sound of the broadcast screen will directly switch to another when you click the middle mouse button on a particular channel. The second mode is the bundle mode which is used to mix different sounds together. CG Templates On the right side of the HQP Live main window, you will find CG Templates. Please be informed that timer, clock, date, and scoreboard function can only be adjusted on the CG Template number 1, whereas the prize draw CG can only be adjusted on the CG template number 2. That is the reason why you cannot output it directly to the broadcast screen. For details about its settings, please refer to the relevant part of the video tutorial. For other CG templates, you can click the middle mouse button to display it directly on the broadcast screen. To see other CG templates, click the left and right arrow here. Playlist Area Click this button to switch between Video Files Playlist and the CG window, and now the window will be switched to the Video Playlist area. Select one playlist you want to display and click the middle mouse button to display it directly on the broadcast screen. The red frame and the word On Air will display on the preview screen to indicate that the current playlist you selected is on air. That's about all for this episode of our HQP Live. Thank you for watching.